Well, in a couple of weeks, watermelon seeds will be planted at Harris Farms in Sumter County. By summer, watermelons will be ready to sell by the truckload. In our series, Surviving COVID Farm to Table, we explore the effects of the pandemic on Midlands farmers and restaurant owners. Here's Alicia Neaves. These trays, they're all filled with watermelon. In this greenhouse on the Harris family farm. They'll be ready for 4th of July. Owners Larry and Janie Harris are preparing for a busy summer. We could sell two truckloads in a day. Larry is the president of Carolina Vegetable Co-op, comprised of 15 members from eight area farms. Last year, as he tried to sell the co-op's produce, he says the buyers weren't coming. Some of the larger farmers that were able to move their produce to some of the restaurants and the grocery stores, when the grocery stores stopped selling as much as they were selling, they wasn't buying as much as we had been accustomed to selling to them. Look at that. Sales for farmers in his co-op dropped by 75% or more. Some of them were selling to some of the restaurants, but they did not have that marketing savvy or skills that was necessary because the average age of the farmers are like 65 to 70 years old. Harris Family Farm typically sold to five grocery stores. There we go. But as the pandemic brought sales to a halt, Harris shifted from selling to donating the farm's produce. When you're losing your jobs and you're losing your income, you're not capable of buying. I was trying to just help a person to survive. Drip irrigation. On a sunny afternoon, we watched the Harris family work to grow a fresh crop. These are broccoli. Their sights set on a more prosperous year. We have to make sure that we're working together and doing what we can do to support one another. And then this way we'll support the community. For this farm, they're sowing seeds of faith. Tomatoes, okra, squash. To feed you. Cucumbers, honeydew. And your family. Cabbage, collards. At the table. Sweet potatoes, cauliflower. Alicina Yavis. Broccoli and Brussels sprout. News 19, WLTX.